Insight. Why many of you come here, and today a lot of people have been wondering what's going on with these rookie punters and punters in general. Have we just evolved that much as a species that distance and hang times of the past that would drop the jaws of all have just become common practice? Are footballs more juice than ever, or is it something else entirely? And it is something different. And when I tell you, I promise you you're going to be baffled that the answer was so simple all along. So first, let's talk about punting of old. It used to go like this. You catch the ball with your feet angled towards where you're punting, but your torso towards the middle of the field. You would then line your torso and feet back up in a straight line and walk the direction you want to punt and then punt it taking the most aggressive angle towards the sideline as possible. This has a problem that comes with it as punters have a spread aka essentially where every possible hit or miss hit a punter has could go from the angle they are attempting to kick the ball at. While our perfect punt will usually go straight, if our drop is a hair inside or outside, we can still hit a really, really good ball that fades left or right subsequently. We also have a bout of half turn punts that if we chase inside will hook dramatically left or if they're a bit outside can just spin off our foot to the right. These hits aren't typically too bad, but depending on if we're kicking right or left, they can take a decent miss hit and turn it into a 25 yard shank really quickly, causing punters to not really hit the ball as hard as they can when kicking directional because they'd rather focus on getting a clean hit and hitting their spot. So if that's how we've punted in games, is that how we've practiced? Hell no. In the meantime, behind the scenes, we've been learning how to hit the ball as far and as high as possible, and we're doing it better than ever before. So what have special teams coordinators done to implement what we do in practice into our real game? Well, they just take this scary spread and shift it to the middle of the field. Yep, it's that easy. Just punt down the middle. I mean, when you have guys like Tommy Townsend, Jake Camarda, Jamie Gale, and Ryan Stonehouse all hitting five plus seconds of hang time in live games, why would you try to punt it directionally? A 4.5 that lands in bounds near a sideline can be just as dangerous as in the middle of the field, and your margin of error is so small kicking directionally that it's become more of a why bother type of scenario. And has it worked? Well, Tommy Townsend is currently pummeling the records of yards per punt, and don't even get me on Ryan Stonehouse, who has that record all but locked up as a rookie. And the net punts, while still lagging a little, aren't nearly as bad as people may have made you think they would be in the past. In fact, the terror of a punt return touchdown has only come three times this season, once off of some of the worst tackling I've ever seen by the Texans organization, and the second and third times off a couple of pretty questionable punts by Braden Mann for the Jets. But for the most part, the top punters in this league, as well as the younger generation, are just operating under the principle of hit ball far, hit ball high, and it's working a lot, a lot better than people thought. So anyways, I hope you have as good of a day as punters do, and peace.